pick somebody out. All right, it's probably my luck with these stories I just read. But anyway, uh, David James Pennington. No, I mentioned a few Davids, but not David James Pennington. Actually, we've got an address here, Etobicoke, Ontario. There you go, David. Uh, I won't read all of this, kind of long, but let's... Um, Hello, Scott. I've been a dart player for many years. I started playing at home with friends, playing cricket around the world and baseball after a few years of just playing with friends and family at home. A couple of other friends that I've been playing with in the league for a number of years asked us to join the Etobicoke Pub Dart League. Great league to start off in Monday nights. Uh, we cleaned up the B division two years straight. Wow, doing pretty good, David. Um, we were both a regular in playoffs, and after the team split up, we built another B division team and played in the MT ADL. We took runner-up in both this regular season and playoffs the next five or six years. We didn't end up playing any league play because one of our friends started a conflicting shift and our team never continued on. But since then, I've joined a number of different teams in the MT ADL, South Etobicoke, and I currently play in the Peel Dart League. Great. Anyway, David from Etobicoke, Dart Surround Showcase. We're getting that to you. Note our dartboard. Hopefully, uh, give you something great to practice on. Um, and hopefully we'll see in some of the super divisions. I know, uh, well, definitely Peel has one in MTADL. Hopefully it'll prove your game. It's a great board, great combination for everything. Um, great. Stuff that at Grand Prix we went over. Lots of great tournaments coming up, which is key. Get out to these. Even if you're just out there to watch some of the great players, get a chance to expose yourself to some of the great play. Again, right across Canada. Something's going on everywhere. So no matter where you are, there's an opportunity to catch a tournament. No matter where you are in the U.S. or worldwide, I mean... Type in your city and type in dart tournament into Google, and guess what? Something's going to come up. So no matter where you are, get a chance to get out playing some tournaments. Congratulations, David. We'll get that out to you. I have found a whole bag of This Is Darts flights kicking around the office. Um, send me an email, scott at hotshotscanada.com. Uh, say, hey, I want some This Is Darts start flights. Um, I'll fill the envelopes until we run out here. But send me a name, address, and I will... Uh, I'll mail them out to you. Again, scott at hotshotscanada.com. Throw in, send me some dart flights. This is darts, dart flights. Give me your name and address so I know where to send them. And uh, I don't know, it's got to be about 30, 40 sets here. Let me know. Send me an email. We'll get those out to you. November's here. Unbelievable. You know what i got to say? And this is important. We'll go beyond darts here for a minute. Families. I mean, the day now of the internet, everybody is just stuck and glued in front of these addictive things surfing websites kids are stuck on video games and playing like crazy especially in the winter there's no better time to get the family together and go and do something and here's what kelly and i've been doing with josh we're having an absolute blast we're almost addicted to it we've been going to ohl hockey games and literally for the price of a movie ticket they're only like 15 18 dollars to get into one of these games some places are as cheap as 12 i, I think you can buy cheap seats good seats doesn't matter but on a Friday or Saturday night, check your local listings, and there's Canadian Hockey League. I mean, there's tons of teams right across the country. An American Hockey League down in the U.S., you got a ton of teams down there as well. Get out to these junior games, because I tell you, the action and the, the capabilities these young kids have, they're out there giving it all. They're all. They're trying to get into the NHL, and they're out there just busting their butts out there. We have watched some great hockey. We've been out to the Mississauga St. Michael's Majors. We've caught every home game. Josh and I took a day off. He played hooky Tuesday. I skipped work Tuesday. And the two of us headed off to Oshawa. We were the only two of five people cheering for Mississauga. Didn't matter. They won 4-1. to one. Sat right behind the bench. He cheered on the players. High-fived them before they went out on the ice. They kept coming back, actually, with a puck at the end of every period, bringing it to Josh in the stand. So it's, it was awesome. We had an absolute blast. But more importantly, get the family together. Friday, Saturday nights. Get out to a junior hockey game. Support, I don't care, I guess, what sport it is, but get out and support some of these great young sporting events. Um, OHL Junior Hockey just seems to be a great thing here in Ontario. And again, you got the Canadian Hockey League right across Canada. But what a great thing to get yourself away from the computer screen, the TV screen. Get out, enjoy something great, eat some popcorn, meet some people, high-five the mascot. It's an absolute blast, and it's probably one of the great, greater things that we've done as a family, um, just to get out and celebrate something together. Kind of helps that they won every game we've been to, I guess. The majors are now about 12-2. and two. Uh, Memorial Cup, the Canadian Hockey League Championship, is here next May. We're excited about that. Um, 
but it's it's just something great to do as a family. You're out two to three hours cheering on your home team anyway. Check your local listings. Canadian Hockey League, there's websites, there's tons of information. If you get out there, if you actually get out to enjoy a game, tell me about it. Scott at HotshotsCanada.com. Send me an email. I want to know if your family's out enjoying something great like this. My sister, her husband, and them are down in St. John, New Brunswick. I know they're huge. I think they're Sea Dogs or something they're called down there. Dale will remind me on Facebook tomorrow. But I think it's the Sea Dogs that are down there. They get out and support them, get out and see some great games. My niece and nephew get out to watch them. So it, there's nothing better. I mean, leave tickets these days. I'm not even talking scalpers, but just standard seats up way up high. And you're looking fifty to hundred dollars a ticket, and I'm sure that's the same thing in almost every major NHL team's venue. It's not cheap to go to some of these games. OHL, fast-paced, great games. Tough to explain to a four-year-old why they're fighting on the ice and, and all this other stuff. It's a new thing we had to learn. Josh started hockey this year. Can't figure out why the guys can fight on the ice, but in, you know the police will arrest you if you fight you know, outside your home. It's an interesting thing to explain to a four-year-old. But anyway, it's been great going to, great to watch. So get a chance, get the family together Friday or Saturday night. Get out and enjoy some hockey this winter. Anyway, wow, I think I covered everything there. I'm almost, uh, I need a drink. My throat is dry. <laughs> anyway, hope you had a great time watching this episode. We definitely have to have some more. Christmas is coming. We're like seven, eight weeks away. Anyway, lots of episodes coming up before Christmas. Lots of product details. Lots of new products, too. Blade 4 will be out probably about a week or two. I don't know how they've done it, but they've actually reduced the wire size by 50%. I thought they were pretty thin before, but somehow they figured out the technology. In the UK, they're actually reducing the wire size by 50%. I'll be excited to see it. Should be here in Canada within a week or two. Darn right, we'll do a show on it for sure. Anyway, everybody, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great night.